He gets a good buck and all, but don't believe everything you read. <laughs> uh, so we talk about planking with the coal butt, which would be like this. And there's a lot of good reasons for that. One is, as you're planking, it's easy to get in the routine of putting glue on the stems. Then you come along here and you put glue in here. And then you put the glue on, on, on the other stem. Then you bring your next plank and put it into this. This is always stapled on. That works really good until you get up to the bilge. And we found in class years ago that what would happen is it'd be pressed together so it looks like it's tight. Then we start to shape it and the joint would open up. The reason for that is if you press too hard on the cold side, these uh, edges break off. And you don't want to do that because it gets the slivers in so the next plank can't mm -hmm. fit into it. Also, um, as you get up this far, your hand is getting sore from pressing on these two sharp edges. So we weren't getting enough pressure in here to make it an actual tight fit. So we are a plank that are going to be coming around like this. Mm -hmm. We cut that center line. We still got these two fragile edges coming up to a point. Mm -hmm. So as you're playing for the fit, these edges want to bend away. So what we do is hold a short piece of planking behind that to support the hand as you're playing it. Uh, whereas if we can plank the way we used to, just come when you cut that, that fine edge is on the bead, it gets hit inside the next joint. So even though you get a better fit here, you're going to pay for it a little bit up here. Mm -hmm. But you know, you add up the pros and cons of both. I, I think we're on the right track to plank with the bead up. Okay.